another tool to your toolbox with this heuristics problem from Primary Mathematics 2022, Book 2B, page 185. Our lesson today is about making a list. Now, I'm a huge list maker. If you look at my planner, in my kitchen, on my desk, there is probably a list. And I like lists because they help keep things organized and I can see where I've made a note, I can cross off things, and it helps me to keep all my information in one place. And that can also be a tool we use when solving complicated problems. So let's take a look at this problem. How many triangles of different sizes can you find? Now I drew this to the best of my ability. You have another picture in your student book page, but you'll notice a couple of things about this. What do you see? There's a big triangle, right? And then it's made up of other smaller triangles. So if we were to describe the number of triangles we can find, that's gonna help us to solve this problem. So the very first thing we need to do in the four step problem solving method is to understand. What are we being asked to do? We're being asked to look at this figure and find all the different types of triangles. Now you might be saying, I see these little ones here. I see those too. I see the big one. Do you see any other ways that you could find a triangle? That might be something to consider. And you may even, I have my magnet tiles here, you may even want to build this. Maybe you want to make this thing here so you can manipulate it and move it around. That's totally okay too. Now we're going to make a plan and our plan is to make a list. So what do I mean by making a list? Well, when we're comparing how we want to find the different types of triangles, we have to think about how we want it organized. So our list might be, if I'm looking at triangles this way, how many can I find? If I'm looking for triangles this way, how many can I find? And when we come back, I'm going to show you how I made my list, but I want you to be creative and think about what your list could look like because it's okay. It can look different and you could have a totally different kind of list than I do. However, it helps you to keep your information organized. So now here's the part where you're going to do. Whether you take some triangles and you replicate this, or you just grab a whiteboard or a notebook and you start making your list, all of those are great strategies. But I want you to see how many different triangles you can find. Go ahead, sketch them out, come back when you're ready, and then we're gonna solve it together. Now I mentioned to you, your list can look different because I just want you to think about how you organize information. So when we're considering this, I want us to just think about the size of the triangle and how many we can find. So for my list, that's all I'm gonna put on here. I'm actually gonna write size, and then I'm gonna write how many. And that's all we're gonna look for, is the size of the triangle and how many. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. The very first one that jumps out to my brain, and it may not be the same one for you because this is kind of one of those optical illusions of what sticks out to you. But the very first triangle that sticks out to me is this giant one right here. That's the one that sticks out to me. That's the very first one I see. Now, I could describe this as being made up of all those little tiny triangles. That's the size of it. Well, how many triangles are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine triangles. So if I were to describe the size as nine, I'm actually gonna call them mini triangles because that just helps me keep it straight. That's just the way my brain works. When there were nine mini triangles making it up, like if you had your magnet tiles and you put them together, there's only one, right? So that was one. Now that brings me to the other one. If we were just to count the mini triangles, just these, right? So I'm actually gonna say one, mini triangle this time. How many mini triangles are there? If you were to count them all up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now I have nine. Okay, now here's the part where we have to kind of think outside of the box. Those were two of the pretty obvious ones. And now this is where I'll be honest, I struggle because my brain doesn't want to see anything that I feel like my eyes have to cross in order to find them. But did you find any other triangles? And in fact, I'm gonna grab another color here. Did you find any other way that you could look at a triangle? Well, I noticed one right here and I'm gonna draw all over this. Look at that. And that's made up of one, two, three, four mini triangles. So I'm actually gonna put that here, four mini triangles. So we could make that one. Is there another one you could make? Now I know this is gonna overlap, which again, my brain doesn't like to think that way. But that's still made up of four, right? One, two, three, four. So we made two of them. 
What about these guys? Is there any way for us to make another triangle that's made up of four? What about like this? Oh, that gets so messy. Woo, that makes me like so hard to look at, but that's okay. How many of those did we make? Three. So now if I wanted to find the total number of triangles of different sizes that I can find, how am I going to figure this out? What could we do? We've got all of these here and we need to find how many in all. What operation is that? One plus nine plus three. And I'm seeing some mental math here because I know this makes 10, 10 and three more is 13. So how many different triangles did we find? 13. Now we can go and check our answer by maybe replicating it or acting it out or even just trying again and maybe even building it. There's lots of different ways we can check it. But now we have this great strategy of making a list, which is super easy, just keeping your information organized. And as I said, your list may have looked different than mine, but you can apply this strategy in the next two practice problems.